Cooperation by Benjamin Krems Master. A Master Speaks, Volume 1, page 63. Humanity today stands poised for a great leap into the future, a future in which man's essential divine nature will demonstrate. Little though he may know this, man has passed and is passing the tests which will allow him in full adulthood to become the recipient of knowledge and powers with which to fashion that future. At present, only to the inner vision of the guides of the race may this reality be clear, but such it is, and portends well for the coming time. Wherever men gather today can be seen and felt a new urgency, a new sense of commitment to the well-being of the planet and its kingdoms. Only now, after eons spent in the struggle for existence and progress, can man be said to have reached maturity, a maturity discernible to us, albeit well hidden from man himself. The opportunity arises now for a major advance in human progress, outstripping by far in speed and accomplishment all previous advances. Whereas until now a slow and steady progress was desirable and even preferable, a new dynamic rhythm is being created whose momentum will sweep humanity into the future on a wave of global change. So great are the tensions in today's divided world that only a rapid change of direction will prevent catastrophe. This rapid change, there is no doubt, will present problems of adjustment to many, but many more by far will welcome these changes as the opportunity for new life. We, the toilers behind the scenes, have every confidence that humanity will set in motion this radical transformation of its structures. They no longer serve man's need and block the emergence of the new. We watch and guide, overseeing all. Little by little, a new consciousness is awakening humanity to its inner needs. The old competitive spirit dies hard. But nevertheless, a new spirit of cooperation is likewise to be seen. This augurs well for the future, for it's by cooperation alone that mankind will survive. By cooperation alone that the new civilization will be built. By cooperation only that men can know and demonstrate the inner truth of their divinity. Cooperation is the natural result of right relationship. Right relationship likewise follows wise cooperation. Cooperation holds the key to all successful group effort and is a manifestation of divine goodwill. Without cooperation, nothing lasting can be achieved, for cooperation brings into synthesis many diverse points of view. Cooperation is another word for unity. Unity and cooperation are the springboards to the future and the guarantee of achievement for all men. Great reservoirs of power lie untapped within humanity, waiting for the magic of cooperation to unleash. Competition strains the natural order. Cooperation liber liberates the goodwill in men. Competition cares only for the self, whereas cooperation works for the highest good of all. Competition leads to separation, the origin of all sin. Cooperation seeks to blend and fuse the many colored strands of the divine life. Competition has led men to the precipice. Cooperation alone will help him find the path. The old and backward-looking love competition, the new embrace the joy divine cooperation. The people of the world can be divided into two kinds, those who compete and those who cooperate. Cleanse the heart of the stain of, of competition. Open the heart to joyful cooperation.